Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Magic Camp. And this is a new Disney Plus original show that feels like it's a Disney Channel original film and brought back a lot of memories to the days where I used to watch things like, what was it, like The Luck of the Irish, Smart House, stuff like that. And yeah, it has that very distinct vibe to it. I was even watching this with my girlfriend and tried to get her to pay attention. It's like, Jess, this is the scene where they're going to describe all the characters and their backstories, and then you're probably going to ask, which kid is this? Pay attention. It's that kind of movie. They all arrive at the camp, and you get a little nugget about each of them so you can tell them apart, because most of the characters are pretty thinly written and just have this specific thing about them, like, here's the really nerdy kid who loves numbers, and might, his, super, his magical power might be he might be on the spectrum. And you have this girl who loves rabbits. And basically this young girl who's the equivalent of Rosa... <laughs> Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And you have your main character who's this young boy who's portrayed by Nathaniel Logan McIntyre whose dad, Aldous Hodge, has passed away because you know it's a Disney movie and one parent has to die, right? and who got him really into magic, but he's never performed for anybody except for his dad, and he's mysteriously a, put in an application for to go to the magic insti the Institute of Magic, run by Jeffrey Tambor, who has his fun moments in this film, but the real center of the film, besides this young boy who's trying to get over his grief and his bullying, is... A magician portrayed by Adam Devine, Andy. And he, like, I was sitting watching this film being like, if this was made in, like, the mid to late 2000s, this 100% would have been Jack Black. And, like, Adam Devine even sounds like Jack Black multiple times in the film, doing a voice like Jack Black. And I'm like, kind of wish this was just Jack Black. But, like, Adam Devine has his moments. He's fun. Jillian Jacobs is in as well. She has her moments. She has some fun. And in general, it's like, this is a very cliched film. You know what's going to happen around each corner. I had some issues with the logic because, like, all these adults around just let these kids extremely bully each other right in front of them. And it's just like, why? Because you're all a bunch of children who never grew up? and don't know how to handle this either, which honestly could be argued about some of the char adult characters in this film. But like, some of the stuff is just like, this would never have happened. It's like you're literally doing nothing to stop this extremely mean and destructive bullying. And it's just like, we're just gonna go with this? Okay. But there's fun magical montages, there's heartwarming moments of these kids finding their way and finding their magical power. Their magic, well, not power. That's an over-exaggeration. This is grounded in reality. Don't let me confuse you there. But they find their magical act, what they're good at. They each have something that really works for them. And honestly, it gets pretty heartwarming towards the end, especially for the main young kid played by Nathaniel Nathaniel Logan McIntyre, Theo, and his connection with his family, and some reveals towards the end. It's like you really feel that connection he has with his family, and there's some nice moments. In the end, it's like Adam Devine is very much like, I know I was talking about during my Work It uh, review as well, about this other Netflix film about this young woman who's a dancer, has to go back to her hometown, and realizes like she wants to be there helping out instead of like her thing as a professional dancer I'm like the same exact idea here except sub dancers for magicians and yeah that's magic camp except it's not magic camp it's the institute of magic I think can't even remember but magic camp is exactly what you would expect from a Disney Channel original movie that instead is just called the Disney plus original movie instead. But those are my thoughts on Magic Camp. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.